Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Mixed Grammar Test Part 10. This is another mixed grammar test for you. You may need to pause the video at each question to give yourself a little more time to think of the answer for the question. So, just take your time and try to get 100%. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Number one. And the answer is, I pass by the farm every day on my way to school. Now, in this question, we're looking for the phrasal verb pass by, okay? And this means to go past, all right? It's the only one that works there out of everything else here, okay? All right, number two. And the answer is, this year, the city will increase the speed limit on all highways. Here, we're looking for the noun speed limit. All right, it's the only one that works there. We're not looking for an adverb or we're not looking for an adjective. Okay, it's the speed limit. All right. Okay, number three. And the answer is, this diagram will help explain the function of our lungs. In this case, we're looking for the function, all right? This word means what the job that something is designed to do. So we're looking for, actually, it's a process of how the lungs work or how they function, all right? It's a noun, okay? It's a process. All right, number four. And the answer is, the Italian language is similar to Spanish and Portuguese. Now, we need a, a comparative adjective here, which is similar. That's the only one that'll work here. All right. Okay, number five. And the answer is, I don't like these kinds of movies. All right, we're talking about movies, it's plural. So the noun has to be the same, right? So these kinds means these types. So since there's more than one, we have to make kind, a noun, a plural, and add S, okay? All right, number six. And the answer is, each bride wants to look beautiful on her wedding day. All right, we're talking about each bride here. So it's singular, it's her, okay? And that's the only one that'll work there, okay? All right, number seven. And the answer is, Either Wendy or Sharon is dancing in the play tonight. Okay, even though we're talking about the future, we're still going to use the present tense here. Okay, we're talking about something that's going to happen tonight. And we're talking about a single person here, either Wendy or Sharon. Okay, not both of them. So be careful, all right? All right, number eight. And the answer is, Marcia and Greg enjoy visiting their grandparents on the holidays. The only one that works here is the gerund visiting. And enjoy is one of those verbs that will only take a gerund. All right? It won't take an infinitive, like to visit. So I couldn't say Marcia and Greg enjoy to visit. All right? It does not work. Okay? That's one of those verbs. All right, number nine. And the answer is, did you do well on the last question? All right, this is an adverb. 
All right, how did you do? Did you do well? Okay, only one that works here. All right, number 10. And the answer is, Casey has much more homework tonight than you did last night. We're making a comparison here, and we need to use the conjunction then with the T-H-A-N. All right? Okay, number 11. And the answer is, is that movie similar to or different from the last one you saw? This combination here, similar to or different from, they're the only ones that work there. Okay? All right. Number 12. And the answer is, I'm glad to learn that you won first prize in the spelling bee held at your school. The only structure that works here is the infinitive to learn. All right, that's the only one that works here. Okay, number 13. And the answer is, young children usually assimilate what they have been taught. All right, assimilate here means to learn. Okay, it's the only one that works out of these words. All right, if you're not sure, look up the other words, okay? All right, number 14. And the answer is, my doctor recommended a different medication for me, and it has helped me a lot. All right, we're looking for the past tense here, and recommend it is the past tense. That's the one that fits for this particular question. Okay, all right, number 15. And the answer is... Carolyn was very happy to accept his invitation. Here we need to accept, which means to receive or to take. Okay, and the answer is D. All right, number 16. And the answers are, the weather conditions have been improving throughout the day and now the officials are positive that the championship game will go ahead. Okay, in the first part here, we need have been improving. That's the present perfect progressive, something that happened. And then it's still occurring now. All right, that's the present perfect progressive. And then we have the future, right? We have our positive that the championship game will go ahead. All right, we're talking about the future. Got it? Okay, number 17. And the answers are, by this time next year, you will have graduated from university and will be looking for a good job. In this case, we're looking for the future by this time next year. All right, so we need the future in both of these answers. All right, and B is the one you want. All right, number 18. And the answer is, my cousin felt that his apartment's only drawback was that it was too small. Okay, a drawback is a disadvantage, and there's only one of them, right? It's singular, so it's only drawback. So the answer is C. All right, number 19. And the answer is, the document has been carefully written to avoid ambiguity. All right, first of all, ambiguity means something that's very unclear. So they were trying to write something carefully to avoid this. So your answer is ambiguity. Okay, the first one. All right, the final question, number 20.
And the answer is, the medicine will induce sleep, so I'm not allowed to drive a car after I take it. All right, the key here is induce. Induce means to cause something. So it's going to cause something, and it's sleep. All right. That's all for this video. Please tell me how you did on the test. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.